All right. I'm getting it together. Spaceman, check it out. Fits beautifully. And, of course, this guy will go on top of this stand here. It'll slide. In, oh, actually, it'll slide in like this. I can get it in there. There we go. It'll slide in like that and be on the stand. Um, I got to go to the store because I got to get bolts that will fit through here and fit into these washers. I'm sorry, into these bearings. And I've got to get... Um, I, I have the washers because I need to flatten the inside of that out. Put a washer there. Put the bearing in there. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. Stick the bearing in there and then put a couple of more washers on the outside there because that's going to sit in just like that. And then, of course, these guys will go in through the tubes and they will roll. They will roll on the bearings just like that. Of course, that's. Oops. These actually go offset. And I have to figure out which one goes to which, but they go offset kind of like that. And so it's okay to put this together now and then to put the um, the uh, tubes in there. But before I put the tubes in there, I'm going to crazy glue spacers on there like that on each end. Just like that so it'll still fit in there. And the spacers will allow me to then wrap the coil. I still haven't figured out what gauge wire. I think I should go with either a medium or a fine gauge. Maybe like a 28 or even a 30. Um, yeah. But yeah, it's coming together. I finally found a little bit of time. So now I got to run to the store, get some bolts and some washers. And what's good about this one is it doesn't have anything in the center to deal with, unlike the geared version. Right? Yeah, no, there's nothing in there. I've made some really cool stuff with my printer, too. Rag holders. I found those on Thingiverse. Little knobs. I think maybe I'll use these knobs to tie off the um the bolts so yeah so i got to figure out what size bolt to get run over to the hardware store get about six of them just in case a bunch of washers the right size i think what i'm going to end up getting is a bolt that's not um i forget what they're called but they're bolts that don't have threads all the way down the shaft so I need to figure out if I can do, if I can find bolts that size. Anyway, it's going good. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you guys this. So, so I made, oops, excuse me. I made this coil last week or the week before. And I like it. It's nice. But these are too thick. The ends of the coil. So I made this guy the other day. It's the exact same coil. It's just that this has got a thinner wall or a thinner coil end, which I like. Yeah, and I'm using um, the Wham Bam flexible system, which allows the plastic to actually come off shiny like it was injected molded. I, I'm not sure if you can see that on there, but this is like super smooth and this is oh, actually both sides are because I I printed these in, in, in halves. Whoops. Anyway, let me go get some bolts and I'll be back. All right. So I got the bolts. And so this is kind of what it's going to look like. As you guys can see, 
The rollers fit perfect. The only problem I'm having now is fitting this tube in its holders. But as you can see, once that's all connected, that's going to work great. These rollers are on bearings. But yeah, I'm having a problem with these. Um, and I think all I have to do is carve a little bit out towards the top there and then maybe put some heat on this and pull it in a little bit i really don't want to take it all apart but let me show you what's going on these fit in the hole but as you can see it doesn't it just barely goes in there But that's going to work great once that thing is going. Yeah, that's going to work great. So I have to finagle it a little bit. Yeah, so it's just a matter of just finagling it. Just, um, you know, tweaking it here and there. But it works. It works good. It rides on the bearings just nice. And of course, it's going to be more like this. Um, I do have one other problem. I ordered my magnets, and I thought I was ordering them from a supplier in the U.S. At least I'm 100% sure that's what it said. There's the bearings. But it turns out I didn't. And so it's going to take forever. Um, but yeah, it'll give me time to. Um, it'll give me time to finagle this and wind the coils. But it it meets the um, it meets the roller perfectly. Yeah, in fact, if if. If I were to connect all of these, I could get it to just spin right around in here. But yeah, so I got to wait for magnets. And I got to fix this up. I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do it yet, but I know I can do it. No big deal. All right. Ciao.